हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ एस वी डॉट एंड वेब एपीआई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कॉल एस वी डॉट एंड वेब एपीआई इन एंगुलर सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो प्लीज विजिट माय एंगुलर सी एल ट्यूटोरियल दैट इज हाउ टू सेट अप द एंगुलर इन योर इन योर सिस्टम एंड वट आर द कमांड्स नीड्स टू बी रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रिएट द एंगुलर प्रोजेक्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज एस वी डॉट एंड वेब ए ट्यूटोरियल सो यू शुड गो थ्रू द एस वी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी यूजिंग एसक्यूल सर्वर एंड एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क सेटअप दैट इज पार्ट सेवन एंड पार्ट एट एट इज रिट्राइव डेटा इन एस वी डॉट एंड वेब ए पी आई यूजिंग एसक्यूल सर्वर एंड एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क सो आई गो टू माई प्रेजेंटेशन हियर सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट इज वाट आर द प्री रिक्यूजेट्स ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड वाट आर द प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप टू कंज्यूम वेब ए पी आई इन एंगुलर so for prerequisites you need a uh, few details about angular that uh, i have installed angular node uh, that is 16.13 and node package manager is 8.1.2 and angular version is 13 and uh, you can see the details so guys uh, here i have uh, created one chart so it will be easy for you to understand the things so uh step 1 is to check the node installed version the command is node hyphen v you should open your command prompt and type the node hyphen v like this and to check the npm version you should uh, use the command npm hyphen v and check the angular cli version you should mention ng version like this you can see here right and uh, next one is we need to start here so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to display data from sp.net web api using angular and how and how to add bootstrap in our angular to uh, apply the bootstrap css to in our html file so first of all uh, step number 4 is create new angular project using angular cli so this is the path right i need to create my angular cl angular project so command is ng new call web ap angular so after using that command i can see here that my angular project is created right you can see the content file here and uh, in visual studio code i'll show you after the next step so step number 5 is after creating the project how to open angular project using visual studio code so the command is using this path uh, mention your uh, project name and code space dot so that it will open your angular project using visual studio code here so this is the visual studio code and you can see the angular project name call web ap angular and this is the uh, files and folders in under this project and step 6 is i need to create a model class file called member model under src folder so the uh, command is using this path and you should map to src folder under src folder you need to use this command ng g for global class model hyp class member model so model is nothing but the folder name and inside it will create the class file member model so i'll show you after using this command you can see expand that src folder you can see one model folder is here and you can see two files Mem that is member model dot ts member model dot spec dot ts and i have discussed about these two files in my angular cli tutorial you can go there and uh, watch that watch that videos and uh, next one is step number 7 is create a service folder and service file called member where we keep our service so this command is using this path under src folder that's ng g service services slash member so services is the folder name and member is the name of the, our service so after creating this you can see here one services folder is created under src and if you expand this you can see two files that is member.service.spec.ts and member.service.ts file so this is the most most important and one thing is step number 8 to install the bootstrap versions bootstrap 4 css framework we need to map to this path only no need to map to src and uh, this command npm install bootstrap space hyphen double hyphen sep so it will create our uh, install the bootstrap in our project right and uh, i'll uh, go through the remaining steps what i need to create 
so first of all we'll need to discuss about the uh, model class file so model class file is uh, expand this model and memoir model dot ts right so here i will map json object from the server into the client side object so the class file is member uh, mo member model dot ts is created under src slash app folder uh, slash uh, model folder so here I can see is you can see there is uh, so many properties I've defined so it should be same as same as our web API response right this is the web API URL and you can see I have the so many property names ID first name last name gender and salary right your ID first name this is one the last name and this is gender and the salary the same properties we need to define in our angular project so that's what we have mentioned here all the property names and its, and its type its id is number first name string last name string gender is string salary is a number and you can see is i have mentioned one question mark which indicates optional value for id field generally this uh, this question mark is not required when you are fetching data from the server but may be required when you want to save the data if you are generating id value on server side so i uh, i have displayed all the details so as per requirement you can change your optional values and you cannot display or display in your web page second is service class so i close this one <coughs> and go to uh, services folder and expand uh, open this member.service.ts right so this is the service and the service file I have mentioned the code so service class is required to process your business logic right and uh, <coughs> notice I have used that uh, at the rate injectable right and provide in to root so to make the service class singleton so in a singleton service is a service for which only one instance exists in an app so there are two types of uh, two, two ways we can make a service a singleton in our angular so set the provide in property of the rdrate injectable to root and include the service in the app module or in a module that is only imported by the module all right and uh, step number three is we need to change the page title globally right so to change the page title globally i will replace the title in the file that is src uh, slash index you can see here this index file is uh, you can see this one so in the title i have mentioned that uh, title name that display data from from the server using angular and a web api so this is the tit page title of our page it needs to be displayed in the globally in our title of our web application in our angular application so if you want to change the title for specific title then you have set the in the corresponding dot component dot ts file right and uh, step number four is we need to load required module globally so for that what i'll do here is i'll open that uh, app dot model dot ts you can see under app folder so open this one so I need to import required modules such as HTTP client module. You can see this one for uh, it is required to call the services. So this module into our file that is src slash app slash app dot model dot ts file. <coughs> and I discussed about making service class singleton. So I could have included the member model which one I have created inside the uh, that is me member ma services right you can see we can also include this file in the in this file that is under the provider sections right if you want to report that member service then you can include that member service uh, uh, name inside the provider section such as providers uh, colon that is uh, I, I my my service name is member service so you can ma include here member service right here you can include but as for now we have import that app.component.ts right because we already have mentioned that uh, you know uh, I'll, I'll discuss about that file name 
so in in let in let in this in, in few steps and uh, this is all about app.model.ts file uh, that is used for load required model globally <coughs> and step number 5 is uh, we need to load data into the component right so for that i need to open the app.component.ts file so this is the code about app.component.ts file <coughs> so in order to that that is used for loading data into the component so in order to display data on html file i need to load data into corresponding component typescript file so here i have only app component so i am going to use app.component.ts file under src slash app directory right this is all about app.component.ts file so i have import uh, my you know uh, member model class file and uh, member service uh, file right here here i have import and uh, <coughs> inside constructor i have used that member serve private member and use that member service whatever we have import the name and ng on it it is the uh, page event which uh, this is this it is used to call our get all members method inside get all members method we have used that uh, subscribe and uh, members and this dot member so it will return all our employee details right <coughs> and uh, if you'll go to our services and here you can see our url i have mentioned right web api url so our web api url is this one so i have mentioned that web api url using our private employee url so this url is to rest our api and using constructor http client uh, uh, you know import uh, name http client uh, we use inside the constructor and get member model from the server so here here also i have used uh, mem import the member model observer and http client so this it will use to get member model from the server so this is the method that is get all members and uh, inside observable type is member model of observable type and uh, inside we need to return the member model and employee url that is up to api and plus uh, slash empl employee right it is nothing but the controller which as per our web api resp response right so this is all about and after then i'll uh, what it is is uh, app dot model app dot component dot ts so i have uh, import to our member model class file and member service and after then i use that get all members and it will call the get all all members inside our ng on it method and uh, inside app dot model dot ts file we have used that uh, you know app dot component dot ts file import that section if you want to member model then you can use inside the provider section of your uh, member services if you want to call here import here a member service then you should mention the member service inside provider section of app dot model dot ts file but it is as per now it is not required because we have import our app dot component dot ts it is already in our app dot component ts file all the member all the, because we already have import our service and class files here so no need to uh, use here again in our app.model.ts file and step number six is we need to display data on html table so for that we need to open my html file that is app.component.html file and here you can see <coughs> i have used h1 tag that is employee details using angular and sp dot and web api and the div class container table class is nothing but the bootstrap css class name and it table class name table space table hyphen stripped uh, striped and uh, inside t, t header tr th id first name last name gender salary it is a column header or table header and uh, inside table body i have used that ng for loop it, it is a kind of uh, uh, it is used for looping our all the employee records and let member of members right here you can see so using that member we can uh, access all our properties member first name last name gender and salary members is nothing but our class name right here you can see this class name mod, mod inside models 
so I have access all these properties here using uh, dub, uh, double curly bracket curly braces and uh, we can access all these things so after then uh, we have closed all the relevant uh, tags and that is t body t table and div so that's all about uh, app dot component dot html file and one more thing is step number seven is we need to implement bootstrap right so for that after installing bootstrap which i already have discussed so go to our angular dot json and we need to add one line of code so inside style section we only there is there was only one path is src style dot css but to implement uh, bootstrap we need to add one line this one that is the path of our bootstrap uh, class file that is node underscore modules bootstrap dist folder css and inside bootstrap dot main dot css after mention that line we can implement bootstrap css in our html file so that's all the seven steps i have discussed about the course and after then we need to run our uh, or test our angular application by executing the command so i have opened that uh, you know uh, this command prompt and this is the path of my file up to this and uh, command is ng sor has hyphen o o is nothing but the open or you can mention here dash dash open right which opens automatically on system default browser that is http localhost or uh, colon 4200 it is a default port number and after using after using that command it will open the browser uh, automatically and it will execute the it will open it will uh, run the you know url <coughs> and i can see all the records here right so this is the h1 tag and i can see id first name last name gender and salary so id all the id values first name last name gender and salary so we need to compare this angular data with our web api so id number one is first name is ram one last name is pradhan one gender is male and salary is thirty four thousand. so we'll check same is in our web api so id is one first name is ram one last name is pradhan one gender is male salary is thirty four thousand. so we need to check here id seven seventeen that is seventeen one is first name last name is seventeen two gender is female seventy seven thousand is our salary so we'll check same in in our web api so id is seventeen first name is seventeen one last name is 17.2 gender is female salary is 77,000 so that's all about guys uh, <coughs> how to implement uh, you know uh, or consume web api in our angular so this is all about how to implement uh, web api in our angular application so i have uh, added all the codes of related class files or html files in the description section go through that and use that code and implement in our project all right so i'll go to my uh, presentation here so guys this is all about uh, how to implement uh, and project setup to consume web api in our angular and what are the prerequisites for our application that is node npm and angular cli and sv.net web api so subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET, .NET Core, C Sharp, SQL Server, DevOps and GitHub. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.